This problem is from section 4-3, uh, one of the, or similar to a homework problem. It says, use the following results from a test for marijuana use, which is provided by a certain drug testing company. And here they say 148 subjects who tested positive results, there's 22 false positive results. And among the 150 negative results, there's five false negative results. If one of the, su of the test subjects is randomly selected, find the probability that the subject tested negative or did not use marijuana. Okay, so let's. Uh, it looks like this is something that uh, could use a table. Um, we can create a table with the two categories being actually using marijuana or not using marijuana and then uh, another category where the test is positive or negative. So let's get that set up. Alright, this is a good setup for our table. We have uh, the two categories. Uh, the column categories talk about using drugs or not using drugs and then the row categories talk about the tested positive or negative. So here they say among 148 subjects are tested with a positive result. So that's a total number of people who tested positive, and that's 148 of them. So we can put that here. Okay, so 148 tested positive. Uh, there's 22 false positive results. So positive results assumes that you use drugs. The false positive results would be those people who didn't use drugs, but they tested positive. So there's 22 here, uh, which means the the difference should be those people who actually did use drugs and tested positive and that should be uh, 126 so if we add 126 and 22 we should get 148 now let's go to the second part among the 152 negative results so that means the total negative results is 152 we put that here uh, there are five false negatives so negative uh, if you use drug and you got um, negative results, then you should be in this slot over here where you used the drugs and you got negative results. So there's five false negatives, which means the difference here uh, would be those people who actually didn't use drugs and got negative results. So uh, this should be 147. So now that we got the table set up based on the information they have, we can fill in the rest of them by looking at the totals. We have for the, all the people that use drugs in the test, there's 126 that tested positive, 5 that tested negative, and so we add them all up, it should be 131. Our next category would be people who did not use drugs, 22 and 147, so that should be 169. And then finally, if we add the total number of people that were in the study, we can either add these columns or add these rows the marginal columns or marginal rows, we should get the same result and that should be um, 200. So now that we have the table set up, let's find out what they're looking for. They want to find the probability of the subject, so we want a probability of something. The subject tested negative, so let's just put negative, or did not use marijuana. So this is an OR statement. There is a couple of ways to to deal with this. One way to deal with it is to deal with it using the addition formula. So the addition formula says that this should equal to the probability of the first event plus the probability of the second event and minus the probability that this these events might have overlap and the overlapping is the AND part. So let's try to identify these values over here. Uh, these are all going to be uh, under 200, uh, the total. So the number of people that tested negative is 152. The number of people that did not use drugs is 169. And then the number of people that overlapped over here is 147. So let's see if we can put all those together. So the number of negative uh, results is going to be uh, 152 divided by 200 and per our use of the addition rule the number of people who did not use drugs is 169 out of 200 
but remember that we want to subtract out the overlap which is 147 divided by 200. So since they all have the same denominator, we simply have to add, subtract the numerator. I'm just going to take my calculator out and add the numerators. 152 plus 169 minus 147. It's 174, and it's 174 out of 200. So let's just go ahead and divide this by 200. And we got 87%. So that should be your final answer, finding the probability that the subject tested negative or did not use marijuana. It's going to be an 87% result. Okay, I hope that helps.